How's it going guys? Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be showing you the craziest root video I have ever done and this is pretty crazy but it's going to be on the Droid Ultra, the Droid Mini or the Droid Max. You're going to be able to root Android version 4.4.4 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. yeah 3 fours and it's going to be for build SU6-7. So I'm going to walk you through all of it. I'm going to give you all the details. It's going to be a long video, but it should be super informative, and you should have a full understanding when we get done with it. Let's go do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, we're going to have to download a bunch of files. So that being said, we're going to come right here to the XDA thread. Right here, Droid Mini Max Ultra Root. This is specifically for build SU6-7. All right, just understand that is what you have to be on for this to function. On that note, you also do not do this from, an, from just normal OTA update state. You need to go ahead and run RSD Lite and restore the device first to this exact firmware before you start this process or else it will not work. So right here it says non OTA update you can see that. So basically if you're looking for the latest firmware I'm going to show you a couple different things. One of them is going to be my site. It's my dashboard. And we're going to go to Motorola. Come on now. Droid Ultra. And you're going to want to watch I can find the video. Yeah, right here. How to unbrick restore with RSD Lite. This is the video. You're gonna to need to do this first before you run the root process, okay? If you're looking for the firmware, and I'll give you links to all this, but I'm just trying to show it to you so you understand. The firmware can be found here. This is Moto Firmware Center. And again, give you links to it. So you're gonna to go to downloads. And depending on which device you have, right here is the Droid Max, the Droid Mini, and the Droid Ultra. And you can click on these links. So for me, it would be the Droid Ultra. And you want to find the right here SU6 7 firmware. Again, like I said, if you had the other one, the Droid Max, again, same thing SU6 7 firmware. You want to download that and do the restore first. Now, the firmware I downloaded doesn't wipe your device, so it kept all my stock applications, which is really awesome but just make sure that you do this before you start this process okay that's number one alright we've got that kind of out of the way disclaimer you could say and then next you're gonna go to here and you're gonna download some different files so to do that you want to go ahead and download them basically they're all within these links right here so you're gonna download Python you're gonna download another zip some Qualcomm drivers and put them all in one location. So let me show you where mine are at. Also download this. This is the PY Serial 2.7. I downloaded the EXE right here. Win32 EXE. That's what I downloaded and I ran it and installed it. Make sure you have that also. All right. Like again, I'll give you all the links. Just in the bit of video description, go to the links, all the, all the video description, look at all the links, just download everything and you'll have it. All right. That's being covered. Now, we're going to come over here to where it says to put them all. It all says to put them all under C drive, Python 27, right up here you can see that. And then this is what you should look like. After you install Python and the serial Python uh, stuff you need, and then you put everything in here, you should basically be copying over this file. And actually, I'll show you all the files. Here's where I put them originally, all right here. These are all in a zip. Once you extract it, these are what you've got. So this is the stock RAR file. So you need something like 7-zip to extract it. Or I think WinRAR will do it also. Um, and I just extracted it here and then I copied all of them and threw them into that other directory. Right here. Okay? Pretty simple. Also, part of those files you'll be downloading will be the Windows drivers for Qualcomm, which is your device. So you'll have those as well, along with the Motorola drivers. So let me show you. I can show you where I get mine. So my Motorola drivers are Android drivers, Motorola, 
and you know the latest one whichever you have 32 bit or 64 bit depending on your operating system for windows all right that should be everything download wise setup wise and then everything you're going to do is going to be done from this folder right here this python dot or python 27 which is created when you install python and all these files should be in here it should look just like this follow along if you don't see something looks different on yours don't start the process until you look like this it's very important all right so from here let's go ahead and hook up my device and do this first thing you're going to do is you're going to brick your device that is the first step which is hilarious just that is what it is all right so we're going to go ahead to brick our device you can see mine right here we're going to go ahead and power it down well actually let me just show you this really quick so here's root checker you can see sorry the device does not have root access um, just to prove I don't have root already I'm going to show you my build number again you have to be on this and you have to do it after you flash um, through RSD Lite there it is my build number the SU6 20, uh, SU6-7 so that's what I'm on I'm going to go ahead and power off and we need to connect our device in bootloader mode to do this first process. Now, another thing I want to warn before you even start, this process could take you an hour and a half from this point right now. So be make sure before you start anything, you have got plenty of time to commit to this. Just be forewarned, plenty of time to commit to this, all right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this into bootloader mode. To do that, you're going to hold volume down from the powered off state, volume down, power, hold it for one, two, three, four, five, let go of both, and you will be in bootloader mode, or yeah, bootloader mode, that's what they call it. <laughs> Take your USB cable and plug it into your device. Make sure you install the Motorola drivers first. You can run that EXE file and it'll install them, it's very simple. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. If you don't install them first, it's not a big deal. Windows might just find them online, but just so you know. All right, plug it in. And let's make sure that our device is communicating over Fastboot and all of our drivers have installed correctly. To do that, I'm going to open Device Manager on my computer. So this is Device Manager right here. And the best way to get to Device Manager is just to go over here to here, go right click, manage, and it'll open it up and then it'll go here and you should say something like this. Now mine has a little like warning problem. I don't know why it's doing this, it's kind of frustrating to me, but it won't work right now. So to test your drivers, the best and easiest way to do it to make sure before you start the process, hold shift, right click, and say open command window here, just like this. Then you can type in fast boot devices, and it should come back with a number. If it's not, your drivers aren't functioning correctly. So the best way to do that is come in here, un um, Go ahead and say update driver software, browse, pick from list, and just try switching it to a different one that's in the list. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and unplug and plug it back in. Sometimes it's a little funky to get these things to work correctly with the drivers. And at that time it did function. So now my drivers don't have that little error on it anymore. And voila, we should be able to work. So that being the case, I'm going to close this down. Well, actually, leave it open because you're going to use it later. And now we're going to run that command again, fastboot devices, and it should return with a number and say fastboot. Okay, we are ready to brick this device. <laughs> I hate saying that, but we are. Now, quick forewarning. Make sure your device is fully charged, battery 100% before you click this next button. Very important that you do that because if something goes south, you're going to be stuck. The only way to recover if you run out of battery juice is with this little beauty right here. This is a fast boot adapter and it basically fakes out your battery and makes it think that you have 100% charge and powers it through this little plug when it's plugged into your cable and then into your phone. So you can get those online. Um, I'll try to get you a link to them in case somebody does mess up their device that badly. But just be forewarned, full battery. Alright, so we're ready to rock this. Let's, boot, let's brick this baby. So to break it, it's very simple. You just come in here and you click on the, where is it at, where is it at, where is it at, I'm drawing. All right here, bootloader broke.bat. So we're gonna click on that file. 
and there you go. It just sended corrupted files to your device and rebooted it and now it's bricked. So at this point, that device will never turn on again. That sucks, right? This is terrible. Well, kind of. Basically, we're in a default Qualcomm download mode, which is the chipset. So, we need to come in here, and if you look under ports, you're going to have something in here, because the device is going to be connected. It's going to say this information. It might install the drivers automatically, which is great. Mine did. If it did, you can communicate it with it still. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and if it didn't, you're just going to come up here to update driver software, browse, um, browse for where these drivers are at. You're going to go to that Python file, C drive, Python, Qualcomm, and then right there, and then hit OK, and it'll install the right drivers. I don't need to do that, they're already on there, so I'm going to cancel it. All right, just make sure you have your drivers installed. Now, you can close out Device Manager. All right, so from here, we're ready to root this baby. And this process is where it takes a real long time. So we're gonna click on this run root.bat. And you can see that it's starting to run some stuff here. And the first two things it flashes is the two files it needs to restore your bootloader that you just bricked. So right now, your bootloader is technically restored, which is awesome, big, big thumbs up. The next files it does is it's flashing a whole bunch of system files to your device to get you root access on SU6-7. Now, this process took me an hour and 20 minutes from here. So, yes, I'm going to pause this with my black phone, my fast boot uh, adapter for emergencies, and this window, and come back to it in about an hour, and hopefully we'll have a booted up device. So, that being said, Hold your horses, we're going to do some major fast forwarding and we'll be back in a couple minutes. Well guys, it has been, I don't know, rewind 15 seconds, see what my time was back then, right down here in the bottom right. That gives you an idea how long this is, process has taken, it feels like forever. I watched a whole Netflix show and 20 minutes later still. So at least a good 60 minutes. Um, it is on the last part of the system, which is uh, system 086. Hopefully this will wrap up very, very soon. Um, each chunk's taking anywhere from five to 10 minutes, probably more like seven. Um, you can see your device has still got the black screen of death, the uh, bricked state of this device. Um, but like I said, once this is done, worst case scenario, you will have your bootloader restored um, and you'll just have to flash the firmware in RSD Lite and best case scenario, we'll have root access. And that's what I'm hoping for. Now, I've not done this yet officially um, correctly, so this is kind of my first try here. Um, hopefully, we'll wrap this up really quickly, and we'll show you how this wraps up and finishes, and then show you root access. Let's give it a couple more minutes. All right, guys, there it is. We can push any key on the computer. Whoa, bootloader unlocked. What? No, I'm just messing with you guys. I already had it unlocked. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, close out the computer. You're done on the computer. Let's check out this device. So here we go. This is initial boot up after this insanely long flash for root access. It does say Android is upgrading. So this is a good sign. This is a very good sign. Let's go ahead and swipe down. And now. I think this installs SuperSue. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let's go check that. Let's go see. So, Super, I mean, I know it installed SuperSue, but I'm pretty sure it installed uh, Super User. Yeah, which it did. All right, the device isn't activated. Don't worry about that. So, I got Super User right there. Right above it is Root Checker. So, let's open Root Checker. Let's go verify Root Access. And come on, give me the pop up. Should. It's taking its sweet time. Probably because this is the first boot after that flash. Uh, all right, hang on. Don't get carried away yet. It did say it's not granted, but I think this thing just hasn't had a chance to get rocking. Yeah, see, really, really super delayed. That's okay. We'll go back in it again. Verify root access. This time we should get it. There it is. Congratulations, your device has root access. 
very awesome very insanely long process really like like I said unless you're like just desperate <laughs> I mean you could do this it's fine but just be prepared be ready for it know how to fix your device if you can hand if it have one of these little cables uh, adapters on hand highly highly recommended and yes you may ask why on earth would I go through this whole process when I have an unlocked bootloader already well the answer to that is subscribers all you out there on YouTube yes I did this for you I have an unlocked bootloader on this device I can install Torp recovery anytime I want flash super sue and I'm done but to make sure that you guys out there in the internet have a great understanding of this and understand what you're doing and have step-by-step -step directions I went ahead and made the video so I hope you guys like it please share if you do give me a big thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out